Okay, wait, I need to sit down and you know I think you're leaning more towards that side. Let me put Kenzie here. There we go. Oh me and Kenzie are matching. Anyways, uh, this is my second video. You know I just recorded a video. I'm not I'm not telling you, I'm telling the audience because I just recorded a video. I stopped recording 20 minutes ago. My brain is currently lagging. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a British citizenship test. I think there's a better way to introduce this. We're both British, we both lived here our Red whole lives. Passports. We both lived there our whole lives, but do we know anything about Britain? Would we pass a British British citizenship test? Should you give it a go? Okay, let me think. I can't even think in English. <laughs> Failed the test already. As British British citizens. You can't even speak English. I don't know. Okay. As British citizens. Forgot. Okay, should we just sing okay. the national anthem? No, 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 So, we're both British. We've been living here our whole life. Red passports, all of that. We can speak the language. Kind of. Like, okay. Oh, all right. We're decent. <laughs> Getting there. We can read and write in English. But are we worthy of a British citizenship? Let's find out by printing out a British citizenship. That's a tongue twister. They did it on Fail. purpose. Oh. Say it. Say British citizenship. Basically. British citizenship test. No, but say it three times fast now. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Of course, a good tongue twist, bro. The word tongue twist is a tongue twist in itself. Quiz, take Meghan Markle's UK citizenship test. Oh, should we do that instead? Meghan Markle? Yeah. Did she have to take one? She's not British. Yeah, but like, she married the prince. Like, did they have to do that? Yeah, word. It's never that deep. Wait, we don't need to print it out. We can just do it on my laptop. I just realized I don't need to waste paper, print it out. You know, we'll put Michael Scott out of a job. Oh, office reference. Okay, okay British citizenship. Easy mode. Immigrant mode. British citizenship <laughs> test hacked. With Mark's <laughs> jailbreak. British citizenship test for people that got hit oh in a boat. God. Can you pass the British citizenship? Ah! Let's do the same one Meghan Markle did and we'll see if we're worth being a royal to be more than the queen. She's not queen, she's a princess. What is she? So she's duchess. Oh, well, that's one mark for you. Well done. Yeah. Oh yeah, I wanted to say quickly, I saw Diary Room do this. I'm taking inspiration from Diary Room. The link is downstairs in the down In part. the Diary Room. She's actually conked. It's my turn. Your turn. Here you go. So recording has started. You should be able to see our screen now. If you can't, three. let us know. Sorry. Okay, so let's start. This has 24 questions. The American actress will need to correctly answer 18 out of 24. American... She's a lawyer, right? She's apparently... Gosh. Good. She's apparently... Good. So she had to get at least 18 out of 24. Let's see if we could get higher than the Duchess herself. Yeah, we don't know what her mark was, but I'm assuming she's setting the bar quite high. Her, setting her, the bar quite high? That was... You didn't mean to say that. Well, did I did mean to say that, obviously. Uh, okay, so what countries does Great Britain refer to? In I'm going to say England, Scotland and Wales. I'm going to say England, Scotland and Wales as well. I think Northern Ireland is independent. Okay, this is... You don't get extra marks. Yeah, trying to get marks and marks for working out. What should we carry? Oh, that's that, correct. That's correct. Next question, please. Which is a fun... This isn't a real... Okay, we'll do no, it this one, isn't real. This isn't real. I feel like we're getting pranked. <laughs> By Meghan Markle? No. Which is a fundamental principle of British life? Ignoring your neighbours... Eating fish on a Friday. These could be supporting your local football team. These could all be answers. Okay, no, 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 no. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. All right, let's say ignoring your name. No, but I wanted to answer it. I would have said participation. Oh, wait, this might be legit. Participation in community Partici life. Participation. Get out of the country. Which what? colonies of the British Empire decided to declare their independence in 1776? I have no idea. This is a I wasn't exam. born back then. I mean, American. Did you know? Yeah. Oh. Which of the following is a British overseas territory? Australia, Solomon Islands, Falkland Islands, or Malta? I believe. I think it's Malta because they have the cross. It's not, it's the Falkland. Did you hear that? I just need to know. He said, I believe it's more because of the cross. What? Okay. It's the uh, Falkland Islands. Okay. Yeah, did you know that? Yeah, Bob. What the hell? Yeah, uh, Bob. Who built the Tower of London? Right, this is, I don't know the answer. Uh, Winston wait, wait, Churchill. It's not the Queen because she's not that strong. And the, the bricks are yeah. heavy. Winston Churchill was busy with the... The church. With, that, with World War Two. It's London. William the Conqueror, bro. It's William, it's William. 100%. It's William. What do Sir William Golding, Seamus Henney and Harold Pint... These are Harry Potter characters. These are not real Never people. Never heard of any of these. They're not real people. They oh. were all inside the Slytherin Common Room. They've Seamus all been, Heaney. They've all been Prime Minister. They've Oof. all been awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. They were part of the first British British expedition to the North Pole. They sound like North Pole people. Uh, they sound like North Pole people. You can only find these names in the North Pole. <laughs> so they have all been awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. What did they write? Can't name a single Seamus Heaney book. Uh, name 10 listen, listen. Harold Pinter books. This isn't a citizenship test. St. Andrew is the patron saint of of which country? Ooh. Andrews, help us out. Andrew sounds very like, it's just very English, isn't it? Andrew. No, but it could be Ooh. Scotland. Andrew. Andrew. St. George, I think, is England. St. Patrick is Ireland. Scotland is Braveheart, so Wales. No! I feel no! I told you. No! Andrew. 
Wait, how many have we got wrong? We've got three wrong so far. We can only get three more wrong. Otherwise, Meghan Markle has got higher than us. And we're less deserving of being duchesses than she. In everyday language, people may say, rain stopped play. With which sport is this phrase associated? It's horse racing or cricket, one of them. Because football and rugby, we don't stop playing even in the rain. You don't call horse racing play. Yes, that is, a sh that is smart. Cricket, it's cricket 100%. There we go. I'm number one British. On. Who has to pay national insurance contributions? Everybody in the UK who's in paid work, people who work full time, no, single people with no dependents. When I was a student, I was working, I didn't have to pay national insurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was working part time. It's people who work full time. Full time. <laughs> you tax evader. Oh my god. IRS. That's not British. Everyone in the UK who's in paid work needs to pay national insurance. Next question. What is. You read it. What is. You read it. What is the responsibility <laughs> that you. You read it. You read it. What, what is the responsibility? <laughs> What is the responsibility that you will have as a, as a citizen or a permanent resident of the UK? Keeping an allotment. I don't know what an allotment is. I know is. what an allotment is. What it's is a it? little hole in the ground that you put all your money in. <laughs> <laughs> Visiting your local pub regularly. I'm going to do looking after wait, the wait, wait, no, no, no. Uh, we didn't even discuss no, no. it. We didn't discuss it. We didn't discuss it. I th I, the question hasn't even gone into my head. What's the responsibility that you have as a citizen or permanent resident of the UK? Keeping an allotment. Looking after What's the environment, environment. Using your car as much as possible. Visiting your local pub It's got to be looking after the environment. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's real. looking after the environment. I know Megan got that one wrong. Megan. Going in private jets all the time. Right, yeah. Going in cars. Probably don't even know what a car Get is. on a horse. Yeah, like a real Brit. Why is 1918 an important date in the history of women's rights? Wait, let me, let me read. First, oh, you know okay. it takes me long to process questions. Why is 1918 an important date in the history of women's rights? Look, guys, Kenzie can fetch you, know. No, 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 watch this, yeah. She's gonna go get it and she's gonna bring it back. Why is 1918 an important date in the history of women's rights? What happened in 1918? Women were rights. legally. Oh, yes, yeah, definitely suffrage. It's not equal pay. Suffrage is suffrage. It's 2023 and that's still not the case. Right to vote. We have a right to vote. Wait, no, face on. We need to like make it more dramatic. Sorry, sorry. Oh, she bought it back. Well done, Kenzie. Good girl, good girl, good. Why is she buying it? Is it a toy? I'll go get it again. So, yeah, we locked in. Women were, uh, were given the right to vote and we got it correct. Well done. I think together we can actually become citizens. Where is the UK parliament? Parli par where is UK parliament? parliament? Okay, Westminster. It's I believe, yeah, it's 100%. none of these, yeah. Okay, I'm going for that one as well. Westminster. Ooh. All right, so we're halfway through the test. We're doing quite well. In which part of the British Empire did the war, 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 war of 1899 to 1902 take place? That's a short war, bro. Three war. year war. Three year war. Reload I, I, I could have made it five. I don't think anything got sorted out. Put me in there, I'm ending it in one. Back South again. Africa, Canada, Australia, or India. Okay, think about it. Where did they get the names of wars from? World War II, who was fighting? Everyone. It wasn't everyone. Sweden, Switzerland, Spain. Spain wasn't part of World War II. What? Or Portugal. I had no idea. Pops. Why didn't it back us? Word. Wait, what? Is that, were we good guys? Yeah, we were good guys. Were we the World good War guys? II, yeah, because you look at the other side, bad guys. What, Hitler? My point was, wars are named after, like, what's going on in the war. So, like, World War, it's because everyone was involved. Cold uh, War. Cold War is because it was snow. Boer War. That sounds, it can either be Australia or South Africa. I think it's South Africa, you know. Let's look at the time period as well. Early 1900s, it ended. So, before World War One. So, this was before iPhones. Uh, yeah, and before iPods. It's probably before the Sony OLED 42-inch. Probably. Was it before or after the PS3? I know it was before the it was before FIFA. PS4. No, there's, there's, there is FIFA 02, so 1902. I think I think it's South Africa, you know. No, it's not South Africa. It's going to be India or Australia. No, my brain is telling me it's South Africa. Something South Africa. That says something about All South right. Africa. All right, you ready? Yeah, three, two, one. I knew oh! it. Passport. Oh my god, get him to the Africans. Which of the following is a famous Stone Age site in the UK? Stonehenge. Stonehenge, let's start. That, that was light. That was like a question. A... It was a question and a mark scheme in one. Who invented England in 1066? Invented, yeah? Get out of the country, mate. Who invented England? Okay, let's find out. Fissa, you... Okay, do you want to read it out again, <laughs> Who invaded England in 1066? <laughs> Richard the Lionheart. William of Normandy. How, are you sure? Can you invade England from inside England? That's not invasion. What is it then? Invasion is someone coming from the outside, inside. Okay, so it's not Harold of Wessex, because Wessex is around the corner. It's William of Normandy, I just I just remembered. Yeah, it's William. Uh, are we looking in? Yeah, no. 100%. It's 100% William. William. What happened in Why are they giving us dates from 3 million years ago? That's what? actually technically... It's all right. What happened in 1215 to change the powers of the king? The dinosaurs. Domesday book. That sounds so cool, wasn't it? What does it look? Ooh, wow, that this is cool. cool. Domesday book, sponsor me. The drip. The book drip. The Domesday book looks cool. I want a Domesday book. Send me one. What happened in 1215 to change the powers it's the Magna of the Car. king? It's the Magna Car. How do you know this? I do a hundred billion percent. I'll do it. No, what, is like, what, is it? what is it? It's a... Is it a book? 
It's a royal charter of rights agreed to by King John of England at Runnymede. This didn't happen. Runnymede? What's that next to Hogsmeade? Runnymede? <laughs> Why live in Runnymede? Wait, actually, this is, this is quite drippy. Magna Carta looks up. Do you know if there was more pages to the Magna Carta, it would look. Okay, so Ooh. should we rank these? Should we rank these from drippiest? From how they look? Can't lie, Magna Carta <laughs> takes top place for me. Look no, at that. Look how great in it has hell. A Bro, it's got a chain. Look at that bummer it's seal. Got a chain. It's a seal. It's not, it's a chain. It's a seal. Arr! Look at the Doomsday Book, bro. All right, all right, all right. So if you discover the Magna Carta, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open it, you're gonna If you discover the Doomsday Book, you're gonna go Magna Carta is sleek. It's, look, it's modern. Yeah, look how cool that is, bro. Look at that. This is a lot more cool. It's not. Yes, it's it is. Bunny. This is it looks this like is a bunny. uni degree, bro. This is cool. Look at that. You can't do that with a Magna Carta. You don't need to, because it's already two seats. Yeah, because it's one page. That's what makes it cool. It's one page with a chain. No, it's not a chain, it's a seal. But let's look at the Black Death. That is cool. Oh, the Black Death was scary. I that is a bit of a dark time, bro. And the people complaining about the normal COVID mask. Like, look what we had to go through. Look at the we fit. Two meter look at the fit. That, is that, is, that should have been my age. Okay, Black Death is probably up there with drippiest outfits for yeah. when there's a plague. Look at that. That is a cool. Look at his spectre. He's how, got, how many people do you know these days that own a spectre? Whereas now it's like, oh, you get it. You wear this. Let me put on User. my bin bag. Let's I'm continue big. the test. 17. What must you have done in order to vote in elections? Passed an electoral test, paid income tax in the previous year. Register your identity with the police. Put your name on the electoral register. You need to put your name on the electoral register. Okay, we're doing decent. Which of these is the name of a novel by Jane Austen? All of uh, a twist. That was by Tom Sawyer. Yeah. Was it? No. Oh. Charles Dickens. It was Sense and Sensibility. Are you sure? Why did you know this stuff? Why did you know this? I'm a Jane Austen fan. What the hell? Austen. Like Austen oh, Martin. <laughs> How often does Prime Minister's questions occur when Parliament is sitting? It's that TV show. Prime Minister's questions. When <laughs> Parliament is sitting. I can't lie, I think that happens once a week. Wait, what does Parliament is sitting mean? Like in the House of Commons. When Parliament is sitting, I'm assuming is when they all gather together in, in the Parliament. House of Commons. They can't do that every week. Bro, it's their job. What do you want them to do in the meantime? Tax evade. Covid party. Cheat on your spouse. <laughs> Order. Hey. Order. Uh, Order. Right. It seems like something they do once a week then. You're saying it's their job. And then that alongside not listening to their own rules. Hating poor people. Once a week okay. this is their job. I think it's once a week, yeah. Yeah! Oh, I've Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most British dance, right? Oh. <laughs> Anyways, which Jubilee did Queen, Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth Jubilee line, Jubilee line <laughs> celebrate in 2012? Diamond, gold, platinum, or silver? She unlocked all the levels. She didn't hit platinum because she didn't complete what the map. She... 2012 must have been a diamond jubilee. She didn't hit platinum. Unfortunately, the game ended before she hit platinum. See, now diamond. What are the, the, tiger. Wolf, the tiger and she walks in beauty? Poem, film, play, or novel? I'm gonna say poem. I'm gonna. I I'm think gonna say it's poem. plays. I think it's poem. Okay, say poems. poems. Poems, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. When walking your dog in a public space, what must you ensure that you pick up the poo? And that it's not a pit bull, because I've seen a lot of pit bulls killing people recently. Did you see the video of the two pit bulls killed an old man? No. They killed an old man. Wait, how old was he? Like, old man. Okay. Like, they mauled him to death. How? Did, like, bit him? Yeah, bit him. Like, crazy ah, That your dog does not come into one. contact with other dogs? Can't control that. That your dog wears a special dog <laughs> That your dog never strays more than three meters away from you? Where is pick up poo? That your dog wears a collar showing the name and address of the owner? Where's the poo option? Okay, then, yeah, I think it's bottom right. That your dog wears a collar showing the name and address of the that owner. That seems like the most reasonable. Yeah, okay. because then if you lose your dog, Instead of killing old men, it will, the people will deliver it to you. Yeah. What is the fundamental principle of British life? The rule of the upper classes, the rule of your local member of parliament, the rule of law, the rule of the monarch. I'm going to say rule of law. Wait, wait, why can we discuss this? The others don't really apply that this much. I think this is a timed exam. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Just face all taking this time. You can discuss. With who? Okay, Kenzie, what is the fundamental principle of British life? Is it the rule of the upper classes? Is it the rule of your monarch? Or is it the rule of law? She does not know anything that's going on. She does. She can't conceptualize anything. And she knows her. eat, sleep, poo, and wake up. And we oh. on my bed. <laughs> you don't know anything. Yes, yeah, she does. You're yeah, so does. dumb. Right, I'm All gonna right. say rule of law. Why did you get these so quickly? Because to... you you don't you're not ruled by your MP. Okay. You're not ruled by the upper you're not ruled by the monarch, you're ruled by the law. Thank you. Final question. We're at, almost at the finish line. I forgot how many we got wrong, but we're gonna see at the end anyway. Like, um, and it, what? Look at the question, bro. Bum question. I haven't read it yet. Okay, last question, face off. For our red passport to actually hold some value, some weight in our lives, for us to feel like we belong in this country. 
for us to understand what it means to be British, both at heart and at soul. Which stories are associated with Geoffrey Ch Chaucer? Option one is the Umbridge Tales. Option two, we got the London Tales. Option three, we have the Canterbury Tales. And for option four, the Westbury Tales. Umbridge and Westbury don't exist. I think it's the Canterbury Tales. The London Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer. No. The Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer. Yeah, that makes more sense. Uh, you see, you call him Geoffrey, I call him Jeff. Canterbury Tales, final answer. Okay, sh 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 should I click and watch you as you're, as you're wrong? Three. Two, one. Yeah! Yeah! Some in it. Winner, winner. Chicken, Chicken dinner. All right, okay, let's see you ready? Results. Okay, let's close our eyes. <laughs> you ready? Two, one, go. Pass! We got oh! 24! And we got a dog. Get that dog off my screen before it comes and eats my granddad. But yeah, guys, um, let me close this to highlight the end of the video. To be fair, we tag teamed the, the quiz. Meghan yeah. Markle probably didn't have anyone, but she is married to Prince Meghan Harris. Markle didn't have anyone. She had her. Prince husband. I had an illegal immigrant as my helper. I'm not legal. Oh no, you're legal now. I'm legal now. My passport was issued by the bank. Send me a loan passport. Oh, Call it a loan sport. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, let me know. I want to do more of this stuff again. Video okay, ready. this is actually a big question. Are you going to post videos? Yeah. Because I started seeing people saying, oh, what's the point of following or uh, subscribing? He doesn't post anything. He that is true, anything. yeah. I'll subscribe if you want. Don't want you there anyway. I mean, guys, don't take it seriously. I am going to start posting soon. What's your first video going to be? Doing UK citizenship test. Once I get a hand on this laptop. Wait, have you oh, said your videos are cut off too short? You said make the uh, outros longer. I'll give you a few more seconds until the video ends. Oh yeah, this is for my dad. And scene. There we go and wrap it up hey. guys. That, what? That's the video. Oh okay, okay. Let's stop talking.